thank you for the invitation. I'm glad to be here. Bilbao is a very nice city and I love Spain very much, so it's always a pleasure to visit here. Um, I think you are all a little bit tired already, but I hope that you can still stay, stay awake. Uh, how many of you know Iron Sky already? Quite a many. But, of course, it's always nice to watch some videos, so let's start with our teaser, which we released uh, approximately one year ago. Can we turn off the lights? Yeah. Nothing happened. Or is it there? That's Iron Sky. So Iron Sky is a movie about space Nazis that are going to attack us. Um, there are two important things in videos. In every video you have to have a call to action. There was two actually. Send us your money and luckily people did. And turn to production and luckily they did. Um, to understand the whole Iron Sky and how we ended up in this situation. I think it would, it would, it, 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 where is it? It would be good if we start from the very beginning. And it, sorry about these technical problems. Yep. So, Iron Sky, how we are producing it, we would like to call it, it's producing with the audience. And it all started with a film called Star Wreck. How many of you have heard about this film? Not so many, but some. Excellent. Uh, Star Wreck is a, obviously a parody of Star Trek. And it was made by a group of five students. No experience in filmmaking, uh, just an enthusiastic persons who wanted to do a film as a hobby. And the project just got bigger and bigger. First it was supposed to be a short film, and in the end uh, it came about one and a half hour long feature film. All because there was lots of 
internet community, huge internet community that wants to help. Helping writing the script, helping with the special effects, helping with basically in every way that you can think of. Uh, and because of the help that they received, they thought that we have to give something back. And they decided uh, quite early that we're going to release this film for free on internet. And they did. It was first film that was released for free, legally for free on internet. And in a very short time, it received 8 million downloads. Um, funny fact is that you can <laughs> still download it, but it's still still selling on DVD in the uh, UK, States, Finland, Scandinavia, in Japan, many countries. And because they uh, work with the internet and they used all these emails, they used uh, forums and all the other uh, IRC and all the other uh, different channels uh, just to collect people and it was kind of a hard work to collect all those masses and uh, give feedback and develop and sh share the whole message. So they decided that we have to make this whole thing much more organized and they opened this kind of a platform called recamovie.com and uh, recamovie it's a collaborative filmmaking platform everybody can join there all of you can join there and you can put your own productions there and start building your community you can give tasks to your uh, audience. You can, uh, for example, we did, uh, we asked uh, in the very beginning of Iron Sky that, hey, what kind of a world it would be in two, uh, 2018? Uh, because it's not that, in that distant of future, uh, what's the world like in then? Um, what kind of a missile defense system New York has or everything like that? And uh, there's also an opera for Savalin and Opera Festivals in 2012. So it's a very uh, interesting platform. So go and have a look. At the same time when uh, Star Wreck was released, our community manager had this crazy idea about Iron Sky. And of course, he shared, <laughs> shared the idea in Sona that, hey, I've been thinking about this, that could we make a movie about that in 1945, the Nazis went to the moon and in 2018, they would come back. And Timo, the director, and Samuli, the visual effects guy, was just, no, that's the stupidest thing ever. And you cannot make a film about that. And then Timo had a second thought that, hey, maybe if we can get Udo Kier as Moonführer and Leibach doing the score. And they're both on board. Leibach is this Slovenian band, if you, you know. And Ben Watkins is producing the music from Juno Reactor. At this point, I usually saw the teaser, but because we already saw it, let's just move forward and take a look of the funding of the film, because it's very interesting. It's a mix of this traditional film funding, crowdfunding, and crowd investments. Big slice is the traditional slice, and but there's a huge slice also, which is a crowdfunding slice. If you count those numbers together, you can see that the total budget <laughs> isn't that much, but it actually is because we went slightly over budget when we were shooting this film. Uh, we shoot it half in Frankfurt and half in Australia. And uh, we had some uh, problems with the weather, snowstorms in Frankfurt, floods in Australia, and but still we were able to finish the shootings and didn't have so much problems with those. In addition to those investments, we have all these different products that people can buy and support us. Uh, they can buy a t-shirt, they can buy uh, war bonds, they can buy basically everything, all the merchandise. We just did a global merchandise deal with EMI, EMI London and uh, it's a, uh, also a reason why people are buying stuff from us is that they know that all the money is going straight to the production. Uh, the film is going to be better and it's going to be uh, released quicker the more teasers that I buy. Uh, the money isn't going to somebody's pocket and to the bar and something like that. Let's take a look at the collaboration because that's the key and how it works. 
because crowdsourcing, crowdfunding, and crowd investment are totally different things. Crowdsourcing works, but it doesn't work for everything. But let's take a look at two examples. Uh, our CTI team wanted to have some reference pictures. Uh, what does it look like when you shoot with big guns against metal wood or all the other kinds of things? Uh, collecting that kind of a reference material would be very time consuming and in most of the cases very expensive as well. Uh, well, with this one, when we asked this simple question from our audience, in 48 hours we received hundreds, hundreds of pictures, videos, uh, everything, slow motions when bullet comes and hits and everything. And uh, they got all they need now to do uh, most greatest looking bullet holes ever, I would say. Uh, and here's the truth today, uh, which is uh, our own newspaper from 2018. And it's a press release that we used. Uh, because uh, when you are in the festivals, you don't have to always print all your information, the basic A4 papers. Uh, put some creativity in it and people will actually take those with them, they will read them, they will enjoy it, enjoy it and at the same time you are able to brainwash them <laughs> with your message. So it's a, it's a good tool. Crowdsourcing works, but you have to remember that fact. It's not a democracy. And what that means is that it doesn't work automatically. There needs to be a uh, sort of a dictator that's uh, giving the orders and giving the feedback for the audience and uh, developing the idea together with them. Because, uh, of course, if you ask something from them, you have to give a uh, double back, basically. And that's the way that you can also end up in the uh, solution and resolution and uh, you will get the thing that you are looking for. Uh, you have to work with them. About marketing. Uh, am, I, am I going to quickly work my translator? Everything okay? Yeah? Good? So marketing. Everything that we do is marketing and on the internet especially is marketing because everything that you do, it leaves a mark. And give a second thought every time you post, or at least try to remember that rule. And when you are building that crowd audience, remember that you don't have to reach everyone. Nobody can reach everyone. Uh, just think about what is your target audience and focus on them. Try to serve them as best as you can, and they will take your message and they will spread it onwards because especially on these days, I would say that people are already sick of this kind of a pushing marketing that comes from television and like, la la la, this is good for you. And oh, no, it's not, that's, uh, that's not true. And <laughs> you're still saying, uh, I, I won't hear it. And it goes in and it goes out. But if you hear the same message uh, from your friend, it's more likely that you're gonna believe it and give it a second thought and you will look into it. Hey, what's this thing that my friend was telling about? And then you will start spreading the word onwards again. And the way, ways to use social media. Well, it's in the name, social media. Use it to talk with the people. Uh, but the good point about this one is how you use it. And it's very important. Uh, nowadays, you see that that every company basically wants to be, hey, social media, there's a lot of money in there, I want to be there as well with my company. And then they do some research, and okay, there's uh, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all these nice little channels, I want to be in everywhere. And then they create this huge block of content and copy paste it in everywhere in the same way. But it doesn't work that way because uh, every platform has its own meaning. And in every platform, you have to work as it is meant to be. So remember that. 
in Iron Sky, we uh, post uh, on Facebook all these kind of uh, uh, announcements, news, updates. And on Twitter, we are just talking with our fans. And they can talk to us. And it's a two-way conversation. And a little bit off topic, but that's the beauty of it, I would say. We have this kind of a demand system on our site where people can demand Iron Sky to their hometown. I want to see Iron Sky here where I am. Uh, please, di dear distributor, bring it here. And please go and do the demand on our site if you haven't done it already. Because it's uh, very important for us and it's uh, important information for the distributors because they can see, okay, hey, uh, there's so much people in there and there and there and they want to see this film. Uh, it's also great because we can contact all of these people because we have their, their email address and we have their permission that we are able to contact them. And uh, for instance, in Frankfurt, Frank, uh, Frankfurt, when we were shooting there, we had this massive panic scene uh, in the biggest street, street of Frankfurt, where the scene where the UFOs are attacking the New York. And we had 30 extras, half of them cancelled. So we had 15 people, and script says massive panic scene, and the road was about this wide, and the area, and 15 people running around doesn't look so good. <laughs> and we were, oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? And where are we going to find 100 people now? And, oh, hey, we have a community. And we write an email to our German fan and ask, hey, would you be able to come? Unfortunately, we are not able to pay you because it, it's not in the budget, but we will offer you a warm meal and a very interesting day on the set of Iron Sky. And all of a sudden, emails, 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 emails started coming, and we had 100 people in a couple of hours again, and more emails coming, and then we sent another announcement. We are sorry, but <laughs> we cannot take any more people. We can only handle 100. And then we had 100 people plus those 15 people previously extras, and it was a long day, freezing day, but still everybody was smiling at the end, telling jokes, having fun, and interesting fact is also that some of those 15 extras that were supposed to be paid said that, hey, we don't want to get this money, we want to join these real fans, so can I sign that contract? And the result, uh, working like this, um, very time consuming, takes lots of time and effort, but it also brings very good results. One is the visibility that we have received. Uh, people love stories, press love stories, so of course they want to write about us. Write about how fans collaborate with us, write about how we open the secret curtain of the film business and inviting people to join us. Um, it's nice to notice every once in a while how Iron Sky, a uh, small production in Hollywood scale, is still uh, compared to the J.J. Abrams' ne uh, next project, like their equals. So it's a kind of a thing that always makes you smile a bit. Uh, this is our uh, investments, how much we have gathered through that. I must say that this information is a little bit uh, late, but we have a look to the actual website where we can see up-to-date information soon. And working like this, we have built this community. We are able to reach 200,000 people every week through our different channels. That's about that producing with the audience, but I must say that it doesn't stop here. Because I have, um, I would say now we are in, in the middle part of my presentation, if I have timed it right. And I have a very special treat for you. Uh, we did this Iron Sky trailer that we had in Berlin Aale. We did it for buyers that we wanted to show what kind of a film Iron Sky is with the real actors there, everything. So we made a trailer. It was supposed to be only in-house use, but 
we thought, hey, this is actually quite good. And we would like to show this to our fans and all the other people. We don't know yet when we are going to uh, release this, but only, I would say, a couple, a little bit under, under 100 have seen this trailer. So you are, you have a privilege, I would say. Let's just hope that this works this time. Lights off, please. In 1945, a secret Nazi mission made them masters of the moon. In 2018, they're coming back. Who are these guys anyway? Nazis. From the moon. <laughs> That's too much. Now, the fate of mankind. Minor evening. What do we say? We have it, peace! Brilliant. Lies with a male model. You blind or something? I'm hot, damn it. I have no idea what your temperature is. The Boxy Fraulein. I have nothing to do with you, you Nazi piece of shit. The Crazy Kraut. Shame. She was such a nice girl. Just have to kill her later. And the president. It's wonderful. All presidents who start a war in their first term get reelected. This war on terror has all the right moves. So, you are a formerly dead black model who is now suddenly a living white hobo after spending a weekend on the moon. Yes, that's correct. Watch how it's done, fool. Oh, come on! And y'all must be tripping. Oh, shit! This just keeps getting better and better. The battle for Earth is gonna get Nazi. Iron Sky. Join the fight today. Carry on. Kick butt. <laughs> Thank you. Was it good? Then let's run through our website quickly. These are our main page, if you haven't visited there. It combines basically everything. And if you jump in from here, there's even more. That's our director, Timo Vuorensola. Here you can demand. Here you can buy war bonds, etc. And let's take a look of what Spain looks like. from many places, Santander, Bilbao, 32 people from here. Barcelona, 122, demand. Ironsky.net slash invest, there's the information about how you can join in. And that's the situation that we are having now. 390,546 euros. And going up. Uh, some of you might ask uh, how we were able to start before that was filled. Uh, it was because of a Finnish bank 
course, Nordea covered the missing gap. So now all the investments that are coming in are paying the loan back beforehand, before we hit the theaters. So we and the investors are able to receive their money back much quicker. And here are all the information about the investment possibility and the way who you have to contact if you want to invest. The basic info. And when you invest, you will get this information package which, con which contains uh, even more info than this one. These are, if you don't want to invest, of course, you can then buy our t-shirt or other merchandise. And this is our online store. Uh, you can al already pre-order Iron Sky Collector's Edition. There's only 2,000 copies of this one. Uh, price is a bit high, but it's not just a DVD and a movie. It comes with a Blu-ray version of the movie, a DVD version of the movie, uh, a couple of extra DVDs, uh, invitation to the premiere, and some other nice little bonus systems. War bonds, support kits, Gegen Raum Nazis badges, duck tags, things like that. And of course, there needs to be a cheap test product. If you don't find anything else that you want to buy, you can just test that shop works and it's trustworthy. This is a service that we just opened. It's called Iron Sky Sneak Peek and it, we're gonna publish the first five minutes of Iron Sky through this service. And you can follow, it's a, we update it every month and you can follow the progress of the production. If you are an investor, you will, of course, get an access to this site automatically. But if you're not, you can buy this service. And you can select the price that you want to pay for this service. Just select from here. One euro, three euro, five euro, 100 euros, whatever. And uh, interesting thing is that the average payment is almost 80 euros. So when you give the freedom of choice to people, they usually want to show that, hey, I appreciate this kind of a thing. And of course, I have already bought mine. So we can have a quick look what, what it looks inside. It started with an introduction and the idea of uh, Timo Warensola telling about uh, the pr uh, process when he was thinking uh, how I should start my movie. And he was looking like that when he was thinking about it. Uh, then we released the script, the beginning of the script that people were able to see. Then the storyboards of the beginning. Then the animatics. And this month, or I think tomorrow, oh no, on Monday, we are going to release uh, the uh, video material when we were shooting the actual scene. And after that, uh, people will have the raw, raw cut of the scene. And it's a very hands-on following how, it, how the thing develops. Our Facebook page, if you haven't liked us, please do. Doesn't cost anything, but it's nice. And here we have uh, reveal secret information and everything. Like we had this meeting, uh, information that we haven't said to anyone, but somebody somehow revealed a picture about the Iron Sky board game that's in development. There's our Twitter page if you want to follow us and talk with us at Energia. Can you see that? And then what else? Uh, I could show you because we are here in Spain. Uh, we really want to collaborate with the distributors. 
because we have the community and we have ways to reach those people around the globe. So we are uh, giving a different kinds of information packages to the distributors. And um, here. This is just a brief info, but of course we have even details, plans and everything, and we can uh, negotiate about the schedules and events that we can build with our community, with our distributors. And well, you already know what the Iron Sky is. Uh, this is our sacred triangle, how it all combines and makes this thing possible. How many people we reach. And uh, same information again, but it's always good to repeat, you learn better. Uh, so collaborate, join Rekka movie, see how it works, and someday maybe you can put your own production there and start collaborating and building your audience. Demand, please do that. It's fun, it helps, and you can sign into the, our newsletter through that service also. We are not spamming you, I must say. We are very polite. We hate spammers, so we don't want to be one. Support us. We, are, have, we have a new t-shirt selection coming and things like that. Please share if you like the production. I'm not forcing you into it. And invest. That's, by the way, uh, the newest UFO that we had. New rendered picture. Top 25 countries of Iron Sky. United States has the leading. Then it's Finland and Germany, United Kingdom, Canada, France, Russia, and Spain is just a little bit behind Russia. Only 2,000 people. Our Facebook page, our community, it's just the snowball effect. It's, it's getting bigger and faster all the time. And this you might find interesting, that we have 115,000 contacts from Spain. And that's the share, how it goes between different top 10 cities of Spain. You probably know those cities better than I do, so <laughs> it might give you some idea. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you. Bueno, muy bien. Some questions. Ahí vamos. ¿Vas tú? Yo voy. Cocinero fiel. Bueno, será traducir, ¿no? Run away. Ya. El tema de los sueldos y la sensibilidad de la gente ante los sueldos, y dado que es crowdfunding, ¿cómo lo manejáis? Tú, tú mejor, si no hago el ridículo. ¿En inglés? Crowdfunding, crowdsourcing. Uh, crowdsourcing, uh, it's volunteered how they join us. We don't have to pay them. They, uh, it's in the terms of use. La pregunta es para los actores. For the actors and everything. And director and everyone. And everyone, yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, crowdfunding slice is just a small slice of it. The whole slice, uh, whole cake comes from traditional funding uh, through film foundations, through pre-sales, and through those three uh, and a half hundred thousand that we had before we started. But Finnish Bank covered the missing gap, so we had all the money that we were able to start shooting, that we were able to pay the actors. Yeah, but I mean, is the community sensible about the wages? Or because in Spain we have that kind of problem. Ah, well, Everyone, uh, when you crowdsource. Uh, I think that's kind of information that's not public. Or it's just how the business works. <laughs> okay. But uh, I must say that uh, the salaries aren't that big. <laughs> but here's a, a little thank you for asking a question. <laughs> 
¿Alguien más? ¿No? ¿Sam sin else? Porque entienden todos. I also have some other of those information packages. And I can give you, you don't even have to ask the question. Just come to say hello after the show. Actually, we don't have. We don't have a distributor in Spain yet, so if you know one, if you are one, please contact us. Let's have a chat and let's make Spain and Iron Sky biggest thing ever. ¿Qué tal? Soy Carlos de Vega. Eh, dos cosas. Una, ¿cuándo se va a estrenar la película? Que no sé si me ha quedado claro. Y dos, si la forma de distribuirla o de estrenarla va a ser tradicional en salas. Is it going to be a traditional distribution of the film? Yeah. Or is it going to be online for free? Or distribution of this film, it's going to be traditional in many ways. Uh, we are aiming uh, to a theatrical distribution worldwide. We already have uh, theatrical distribution deals with uh, a couple of distributors, and we are now negotiating uh, that when we are going to open in theaters, because we would like to uh, that the release would be at the same time, or at least as soon as possible between the countries, because uh, of our community, how big it is, how everybody wants to see it, like now, but if we open it in Finland, in January in 2012, and the rest of the world has to wait it till December of 2012. Uh, it's uh, something that we don't want to do our uh, fans. We uh, want th that it, they, they all have the possibility to see the film. And after that, when we uh, release it in theater at the same time, hopefully, then we are going to the DVDs, Blu-rays, so the n normal cycle And let's see how the thing develops. Uh, of course, we are very interested about different kinds of online distribution uh, platforms, services that there are in the future. And like video on demand, it would be just perfect. Pero podría, tenéis la, habéis tenido, quiero decir, se puede imaginar una distribución. Eh, con la atención de las majors en Hollywood o va a ser una, creéis que va a ser algo más localizado en Europa mm, desde Finlandia al resto de los países I mean, could it be like a big blockbuster I mean have you got the attention from the majors in Hollywood could mm -hmm. it be like a release worldwide or is it going to be more European uh, worldwide worldwide that's at least where we are aiming at and we have received lots of offers but uh, We are thinking about that we, when we have the finished product, when the film is ready, uh, then would be time to negotiate it again. That, uh, because if we m would make the deal, let's say one year ago, one year ago or even before, uh, I think they would think, of, think it as a, just a small straight to DVD film. And that's not what we want. And That's not the production value that we have. And when they see the final product, I think many of the distributors will see the value of this production. Any other? Are you I, will, I will give you also this kind of. <laughs> And because it was two questions, you can have two. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm? No, la pregunta es a ver qué ocurre si no alcanzáis eh, toda la financiación necesaria para, para hacer la, la película. Es decir, ¿qué, ¿qué ocurre con, yeah, yeah. con aquello que ya habéis, mm. que ya habéis recibido con ese if, dinero? Si no alcanzamos ese objetivo, 
uh, then it means when the film starts uh, bringing money in, the first one who will take that money is the bank. So that's basically it. The, uh, um, and after that, we, uh, the production companies and the investors are then able to get it. But if we reach that goal, then all the loans are paid back already before. And every euro, first euro that comes, uh, 50 cents goes to production companies and 50 cents goes to investors. So Creo, pero Let's un, hope that we can achieve that. Un punto, creo que la, la, la diferencia aquí es que la película está terminada y está ya, el presupuesto está todo financiado. Eh, no es como otros proyectos donde dependen del dinero para continuar. Tiene el presupuesto ya completo con bancos, con, con préstamos, con tal. Yeah, film is going to be finished and it's going to be made. That's not the question. Uh, the slide that we went over budget, uh, we can still make the film. Uh, and if we cannot collect that amount, then we just have to cut a little bit of our CGI budget. And that's a thing that we wouldn't want to do, but we'll see what's the situation and how it develops. Thank you, we do. <laughs> bueno, muy bien, despedimos con un gran aplauso a Peca. Actually, one more thing. Because uh, you are a video blogger and are interested in online videos, I would like to show you one last video. A kind of a, a dessert, I would say. Uh, it doesn't uh, relate to the Iron Sky. Can I have the picture back? Thank you. How many of you have seen this video? <laughs> Let's have a look. It's about how awesome video is. 